Now, 20 young singers are just back from putting Jersey centre stage at the Royal Albert Hall. They were invited to London to take the principal roles in a spectacular concert to highlight homelessness. And they were supported by more than 1,400 other young people from across the UK in a Christmas concert with an audience of 5,000. Daniel Skip tells the story of a night they'll never forget. They've had a lot of famous names on the doors at the Royal Albert Hall. So for 21 singing students from Jersey, this is a very special day. Makeup done, the stage awaits. In the stands, an audience of around 1,500 school children. No pressure. It was massive and so amazing because I'd only seen it in like videos and stuff and being there in real life is just amazing and so good. Uh, it was great. Um, at first it was like mind blowing how big it was and then I got used to it and it just, and it was just amazing. We thought you'd buy some food or something. I can't take money from you. And even if they were nervous, it didn't show. Probably because they've put in the hours practicing here in Jersey, learning lines and choreography. There's a lot to take on, you know, just from packing their own suitcases and remembering things along the way, as well as, you know, being focused for the whole day and staying focused and knowing who your chaperone is and um, keeping up. And every single child had a, had a, um, a head mic um, and just learning to take in what's going on around you, but always be listening and. Um, you know, there's so many distractions, especially for the younger ones, and um, they did extremely well. For one of the smallest regions represented in the hall, Jersey probably left most people talking at the end. But more importantly, their efforts will help to raise thousands of pounds for an important national charity and it could also help to kick-start some big careers on stage. Merry Christmas! Daniel Skip, ITV News. Oh, well, that looked a brilliant event to be part of. And I'm delighted to say that a couple of the young singers and their singing teacher have joined us today in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. We've got Sydney and Rufus and uh, your teacher, Layla, here with us. First of all, what was it like to be part of that singing in front of 5,000 people? It was so exciting. It was an amazing, ex amazing experience. I've never been in the Albert Hall before. It was my first time and to do a show that will help out a lot of people and raise awareness is just amazing. And Leila, why is it important for your students to be part of such a, a big scale event? Because there were sort of 1400 students there, weren't there? Yes, yeah. Um, I think it's just that in Jersey we're little and they, it is amazing for a small island how much there is to do here. But um, all of the shows that we do as a school are for charity. We don't keep any of the money for anything that we do. And I think it's really important for all of the students to use what ability that they they have to um, perform for things like Bernardo's so that they can raise money because they raise an enormous amount of money from these concerts for every every time they do one. And the concert so. also kind of reflects some of those themes, doesn't it? Let's just yeah. listen to a bit more of it now, actually. And that was actually uh, you two performing there. Great singing there. Um, how much do you know about how much money you raised and, and what exactly that will be spent on? Um, I don't know how much we raised, but I think it's going to be spent on getting a lot of homeless people off the streets and helping people raise awareness. It's a really important thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, Bernardo's helps children in need and playing the role of Kate, it just, it showed me how much it 
it's what it's like to be a homeless person and you don't really think about it in normal everyday to day life but it's really sad how there are homeless people including kids and especially during Christmas time as well. Yes, definitely a very moving piece of theatre. And Leila, your students weren't invited to be part of the chorus line in this, were they? They were invited <laughs> to take main parts. How did that come about? Um, well, we've done this five times and we always fly the children over there. Their parents are fantastic. They raise the funds for it. And um, so the first time we went, we were up in the gods um, and the conductor sort of said, oh, they know what they're doing because we were doing the harmonies and they'd learned everything off book. And so the next time we did it, we were a little bit further down. And then they asked us to do Scrooge, which was the first time we'd done acting. And in January, we went to the Barbican and did our usual singing with about 1,600 children, which in itself is fantastic to sing like a big choir like that. And then I got a phone call saying, would we provide the, the main actors and characters and did we have four children who could act and sing? Um, so the, we took 21 children this time. Four of them had main parts. The others all had at least one speaking line and some singing. Um, and that's a real honour to be able to, to, to stand on the Albert Hall stage where they've been... I mean, we were looking at the photos, weren't we, when we were there of the people who performed at the Albert Hall. And they just went on like little pros, no nerves at all. I was amazed. So, yeah, it's a real privilege and an honour to do it. Absolutely. And uh, you've all done Jersey. Very proud. Congratulations on the performance and thank you for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.